My name is Marcus Ray, and I am here to talk to everyone about the year 2020. I know most people are saying it's not been a great year. I'm sure a lot of people um, have been able to see the positives over the beds and been enjoying a lot of family time and are doing their best to keep the spirits high. I understand that, but um, I think for most that care about America and the history behind America, it's been a pretty taxing year on everything you thought was true about America. So that's a little stressful, but I'm here. I claim to have answers and I'm going to help finish whatever type of solutions we need to get to live into a common sense America. And that would probably be the largest of all the goals behind what I'm doing. Um, but the second one is starting a religion. Um, really, the only things that matter need to really start mattering and everything else just needs to be silenced. I'm sick of listening to garbage. Um, and so what that um, brief history on where my religion comes from. So all the way up until, let's say, 18 years old, 17 years old, I was a very active member of the Mormon community or the LDS community. My family, there's seven boys, seven kids, and we all got Eagle Scouts and everyone but me served the full-time mission. So, um, yeah, that's my background into religion and the Mormons are fine. Most of them are good people. The ones, the ones with money are probably the worst people you can imagine. Um, I mean, they're Republican Joe Biden supporters. That's the Mormons with money. It's pretty disgusting. But besides their leadership, the Mormons, what they believe in is pretty conservative and a lot of discipline is required if you really want to be happy with yourself and live to those standards. So the Mormons kind of shaped my idea, but I'm so far from where they are. Like They're so focused on being perfect by not doing what's wrong, and I want to change the view to being perfect by doing what's right. And so they always, like, the only thing that they really do that's right that they're constantly doing is service. And so they're always working for people, and that's it's a good trait to have, but that doesn't mean that you're actually solving any problems or doing what Jesus would have done, right? Because to me, all of religion, regardless what you go across, Jesus, at least in Christianity, Jesus is the center stone, and everyone can basically agree that we need to try to be like Jesus. But the problem is everyone wants to talk about only the love behind what Jesus can bring rather than the actual answers which made Jesus Jesus. And so nobody was looking for those answers. Nobody was trying to perfect a broken system. And I would argue that I have. And through my trials of basically being held back and reduced to always having to go make enough money to survive and build a roofing company and be a carpenter rather than actually focus on solving real problems. And <clears throat> unfortunately, solving real problems takes resources and not everybody, not everybody has those resources. And then when you do, it's like you can spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on development and proving that what you know is more right than what everyone else knows and no one still cares about it. And so in order to change things, you really got to have something special and you really got to have a lot of resources. And what's interesting is through my journey of trying to solve all these problems and I eventually, so at the age of 23, seven years ago, um, I got into life insurance and I basically learned, studied and mastered everything financial and I learned how mortgages work and retirement plans work and 401ks, IRAs, um, stocks, options. Well, that didn't come to later, but basically I've taken that education that I took from long-term retirement all the way to every possibility of what trading, investing, and all these things that people do in the world. And ultimately it left me at stocks and options and I found amazing answers amazing solutions and I have multiple of them and one of them is being finished right now where which I'm going to make another video about the exact numbers it does um, but I think doubling about once a month maybe once every two months is like the minimum conservative guarantee I can do on my money and I would guess that I could probably do up to five to ten million a month minimum is a cap and of investing and so yeah it's gonna make 100 million dollars a year and maybe even someday billions a year 
And so that's exciting. And right now I need $2 million as a minimum investment. I would take 30, but I need two to do everything that I'm going to do between starting my hedge fund, starting a stock and option brokerage company. So like an E-Trade or a Robinhood or a Meritrade. I'm going to start one of those and it's going to be the best one out there. I'm going to give you tools that will teach you. So one thing important about options to understand is if you understand how the option formula works inside one stock symbol, like let's say the Disney stock symbol, right? They have option pricing on multiple different expiration days. If you understand how it works on Disney and you understand how it really works and how where the price can go in a certain amount of time and if, it, if the stock price moves in a certain direction, a certain percent um, in a certain direction, you can analyze exactly what it'd be worth right then. Um, then you can really start to use the options market and i mean just based off the stuff i found i know that there's so much opportunity in here and i will provide tools that will allow other people to basically sit down look at the market themselves and seamlessly create their own formulas that make lots of money in the stock market um and everyone's got a different desire of what they need billions is what i need to change the world like i want to and so $2 million puts billions into my pocket and that money goes right back to you, back to the religion, back to the political pursuit of saving America. It's all one goal. And yeah, until then, I'm on a roof and I'm commercial roofing right now, foam roofing, everything I do. Um, I've been working hard. I've been keeping the paint out of my hair and it's been a good time. So the next video I'm going to do is going to be a detailed math. And so I have an actuary who's basically taking all the data that I've saved and stored and paid $50,000 for and all this other stuff. And they're taking that data and they're taking my formula and they're creating a window into the opportunity of exact dollar potential my opportunity provides based off the number of times that I the opportunity arises and the number of times that you're able to close for a profit, but also by defining the maximum risk and it always being less than the maximum profit. So basically you win every time. And we can narrow in a zone that does that repeatedly over a long history of decade, maybe longer, and it's guaranteed money. So the next video will be on the numbers. And from there... I think that kind of proves everything that I'm saying. If I really created a formula in the stock option world that really nobody in this world understands right now, and I can give you guys enough data to where you can go solve your own problems and make your own money, um, that sounds like a pretty great way to start changing what this world looks like and how money is controlling everything. Because I'm tired of money controlling my life, and when it's not, I'm going to help people find a way to not let it control their lives either. A lot of good we can do. And the religion is simple. So basically the idea is this. You're a bitch. I'm a bitch. Um, but we're both gods. So we got to start living up to our potential. And anything about some afterlife and you thinking that you're going to get, you're going to become something better in the next life. If you're not doing it in this life, don't count on it. Because that's not what God would do.